Well, how's it going everybody? I'm Adam from K6ARK Portable Radio. And as you can see, I'm out in the front yard today because I'm gonna do some testing comparing the receivers on the FT-857 and the 891. But first, I wanna show you guys how I set up the K6ARK Portable Radio end-fed half-wave antenna or the end-fed random wire. The setup process will apply to either one. And I wanna kinda of walk you through quickly how I get it up in the air as efficiently as possible. So let's get started. So my typical setup involves a telescopic pole. This one happens to be a fiberglass model and three stakes with some guy lines already attached to them. And I'm gonna start by choosing my operating position here. I'm set up here on this table, so I want the BNC end of my antenna to stay here with the rigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that BNC connector out of the clip, secure it somewhere down here near the radios, and run out my wire in the direction I'd like the antenna to go. So now I'm gonna take my stakes and my pole and walk them out the antenna wire, whatever distance I prefer. I may set up as an inverted V, as a sloper, or perhaps even as an inverted L. Today, I think I'm gonna go with an inverted V orientation. So I'm gonna walk about to, say, roughly midpoint on the wire and get these set up. So I'm gonna need some kind of hammer, most likely, to get these stakes into the ground. So I found this handy rock nearby that will serve the purpose well. One thing you might notice are these little loops I have built onto the top of the first section of my mast here. I use these loops as guy points. These are just little loops of cord secured with additional cord wrapped around them and glued into place and then some heat shrink over the top to protect it. So I'm going to choose a spot here for my pole. I'm going to get the first section extended so I'm able to reach my clip on the end. I use a little plastic S clip that you can find at Home Depot. Uh, they come in the, the keychain section there. You can buy a whole bunch of them in a, in a pack together. So I'm going to choose the location for my pole right about here and just about the length of the pole in three directions, the length of the, the short section of the pole in three directions, I'm going to put stakes out and have them cross at the center. The first stake is right out there, second stake is right out there, and the third stake there. So what this is going to allow me to do is give a nice set of three guy lines here to hold my antenna mast up. So to get this set up, I first wanna make sure that my antenna wire is out of the way. I don't wanna tie that underneath my guy lines here, otherwise my wire's gonna be stuck close to the ground. And I'm going to take the center point where those three guy lines come together and I'm going to start securing them to my pole. So I'll take the guy line, send it through this loop of cord here on the mast, pull that snug, pinch where it goes through that loop of cord, and then tie a half hitch to secure it, tie a second half hitch to finish it off. I'll go ahead and do that on each of these around the mast secure it in that upright position. That's it. You're set up, ready to attach the wire and hoist this up in the air. So now that our mast is secure, we can go ahead and attach the wire. I'm just going to clip it right into this S-clip here and then go ahead and extend the mast. Each section, I like to give a little bit of twist, get them to stay, not collapse on itself. Don't put a ton of pressure on it because it may be hard to release when you're done.
There we go, that's not too bad. And my final step is to run out to the far end of the antenna, grab the guy line that's attached to it, and string that out so that the whole wire is tight. I'm probably just gonna use my hammer, that rock, as a weight to hold the, the little guy line on the end of the antenna to keep things snug while I'm operating. Let's go do it. Got the end of my cord here, I've got a loop in the end. Double that back on itself so it's a slip knot. Stick my rock in the center. Just like that. I'm just gonna back up until that's snug. Set that on the ground there. So this is what I'm working with here. End of the antenna's a few feet off the ground. The center apex is probably 15 feet up or so. Then it comes back down here to my coil for matching and down to the rigs. So there you have it. That's my strategy for setting up a wire antenna quickly and efficiently. Start by finding your operating position, secure your BNC connector in that location, run your wire out, then set your pull up in the location you want to support the wire from with the three stakes in the ground or by wedging it in some rocks. Hoist it up in the air, pull the wire tight at the far end, and get on the radio, start operating. Thanks for coming along for the adventure today, even though it was just in the front yard. 7-3 for now, from Adam at K6ARK Portable Radio.